So, first things first, how are you? Good, man. Good, yeah, happy yeah. to be in Amsterdam. Yeah, very happy to be here. I saw something on Twitter. Um, did you lose a guitar? Yeah, yeah we did, basically. It was sort of my fault. Well, not sort of, it was exactly my fault, really. Um, <laughs> I just panicked, <laughs> I think, uh, when. Uh, from Manchester to Lancaster, and uh, just because I, I always have a rucksack with me and I never take a guitar on the train or anything like that, so I just walked off and then um, left, just left the guitar. Yeah, casually just, left and the then guitar. Freaked out for about half an hour, like <laughs> it was really upsetting. <laughs> we got it back though. We got it oh, back. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. where you found it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it back. Okay. It was then delivered back to Preston, which is near where we live, and then um, yeah, we picked it up in Preston, which is a Pretty good game. Oh, that's good. Because <laughs> I was going to ask how, how are you doing the shows now? Yeah, we've lost all our gear. Acapella. Okay, so, so you're good to go. Uh -huh. Well, before we talk about the music uh, you've just released and are uh, releasing in the future, I'd, I'd like to go back quickly. Uh, well, you mentioned it already, you're from uh, Lancashire. Yeah. Uh, Silverdale, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. to be particular. Yeah, um, very particular. What kind of town is it? If you want to do music, it's very minimal. Yeah, it's just yeah. small. It's just a, it's just a small village. About two thousand people, I think. Yeah, it's lovely. Like it's just it, we're like we're really fortunate to yeah. have grown up there. Mm -hmm. It's just a really nice place. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah. yeah. Really and like all of our friends are from there as well. So it's a really like nice community. Yeah. But is there a lot of music around? Um, not really. Not really. There's old like people, I think, yeah, a lot of old people. <laughs> There's like my dad's in like the one local band. That's basically <laughs> it, and they're crap. Oh, they're absolutely <laughs> it's terrible. It's just no, blues music. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, not really much music going on there, no. But so for you then, uh, was it your dad who got you into music? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I suppose that like, all, all of our friends like growing up played, uh, played music, basically. And there, there, w there weren't many of us growing up, because it's not, it's not a big village. Mm. So as soon as one person starts playing an instrument, the other five of you in your class start copying and playing. Yeah. So it was basically all of our friends played instruments, but I'd say not so many people stuck it out. Yeah. And I think we were the only ones that really kept it going. So, so I suppose that's it. I, I found somewhere um, you were in a grunge band before? Yes, I was in a grunge band with were my. Were you any good? Um, I, I'd like to think so. <laughs> I mean, we tried to do it professionally, but I think I was just too young. I don't think anyone really took us seriously. So it, it, was, it probably wasn't really going to work. But and Tom, uh, Tom was in a metal band. When well, you say metal, it's well, like, it's like rock. yeah, it's, it's like, like rock, but it's a little bit more. It was metal so fun, though. I really enjoyed it. That's like I really got into metal when I was younger and stuff, and then got into like progressive music, and then that's how it sort of built up to sort of doing yeah. what we do now and stuff like that. It wasn't like scream metal, nothing like that. It was more like interesting melodic it was just raw metal. Yeah. Do, do you still listen to those influences? I. I still sometimes listen to rock music, but not as much, not as much now. I think my music sort of, my inspiration started to develop over the years. Yeah, I think I'm saying. I'll go through like a phase of like listening to loads of like Ocean Size or like loads of Tool or something like that. Bands that I listened to back then. And then go through like a mad hip hop phase or something like yeah. that. <laughs> and then go through like an electronic phase and stuff. Yeah, we've so. got this, um, our techie in the band like, is absolutely obsessed with like hip-hop and rap. So basically that's all we have to listen to in the van yeah. all the time. So it's, <laughs> this is a bad thing. Like it's it. No, it's not a bad thing, but we're getting into it. <laughs> well, what was the turning point then? Because you say, well, you both played in rock band, so what was the um, turning point when you started making your own music? I, I decided to start making my own songs on acoustic guitar. Um, and at the, at the, metal, yeah, and it? at the time, Tom, because Tom knew how to produce music, he'd been in studied production and he understood it a lot better than I did. And Tom heard a song of mine and then invited me over, and then we started writing music. We didn't really know each other prior yeah. to that, basically, because um, there's a little bit of an age gap. So Ben's 20, I'm 24. Um, and obviously, we're in different age groups, sort of like um, social groups. Right. And, then, um, and then from there, uh, yeah, he came, I heard a song that he did on SoundCloud, and we literally live right next to each other. Like, he lives across the road, and I heard a song on SoundCloud, and uh, thought it was awesome. And I was like, maybe we should just try a tune. And that, the first song we wrote was Calling Me, which we've just released, I think, yeah. Okay, yeah, because, uh, well, it's, it's on the EP Calling Me. Yeah, so, so yeah, why, <laughs> yeah. Why, um, until now, it's a third EP, why is, is that song? 
Uh, it just, it did, well, so we put it out, we put it out at first and it got, um, it got attention from record labels, lawyers, managers, etc. And it was all a bit of a shock. And then we went and met these people, found a manager, and then he was like, okay, now I need to make more music. So you're like, all right, okay. Um, and then so we sort started of- started from scratch. We, we, it kind of like we started over mm. and we kind of forgot about calling me. And because the production wasn't as good as, I think we're better producers now and we have a better understanding. I think we realized that calling me deserved a better, it deserved a, a refreshing, it deserved another take. So we kind of held it back and waited for the right moment and uh, we've just recently put it out. Do you remember why you wrote the song? Why you wrote it? Yeah, well, well because you came up to the same with the initial idea. Do you know why? What, what sparked it? What do you, what do you mean? The, yeah, the idea of calling it. The, the yeah, idea yeah just, just the song. Do you know? I think it was, it was just a play around. It, was, okay. it, was, it started off, this whole project started off as a recording project. You know, we were just like... We were just we, having we fun just really, experimenting with different, yeah. with different, like, with different production ideas and then it became more and more about the song and we put like, a lot more piano into the music and stuff like that which is where I gave it all came from. Um, you there as well? Yeah, yeah, you there. And, um, not to say the production element of it went away, um, it's always been a fundamental part of what we're about but I think we concentrate a little bit more on the songwriting itself and the production. Was there a sense of where you wanted to go with the music at that point? Was, was there, there a sense of direction? Yeah, I think, I think there, it, there was and there still is, like we still have an idea of where we want to go. And I, I don't think, I think at first it wasn't a conscious decision. I think at first we were making music that we could afford to make. We were making music where we didn't have to have a grand piano, we didn't have to have a, we an expensive drum kit. We? Yeah, we, we, had, we didn't have any money to do anything incredible. So we worked with our limitations and I think it sort of put us in this electronic world. Um, I'd say that's it. We, like, we sort of have an idea as to where we want to go, especially with the album. But it's probably That's best how we're so lucky because yeah. we get to make music that we like making as well. Yeah. yeah.